Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you and today I'm going to give you my rankings on the best steroids for muscle hardening. But before we get into that, just a big shout out, thank you, much love and appreciation to every one of you out there supporting the channel. You guys are just nothing short of amazing. I can't thank you enough for the kind words, the comments, the likes, the subs. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit that like button if you're enjoying the videos, and make sure to click that bell notification after you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the content that I'm providing each and every day. Thank you guys so much. Let's keep this channel growing, and I'm just going to keep throwing out more content for you. It's absolutely awesome. So let's get into the five best steroids for muscle hardening. Now, remember, this is just simply the Dylan Jamelli list. Some of these, the separation is so small, it's like 1A, 1B, 1C. This is for fun. I, I think where most of us are going to probably agree with the list in its entirety. The ranking system is just, it, it, it's for fun, and it's just what I view and what I've seen over the years. You can disagree all you want, that's the fun of it. It's the ridiculous, harsh, rude comments that are unnecessary. And hey, if that's what makes you feel good about yourself, go ahead. Just remember... It's just a list. It's just my list. It's subject to change over the years. Uh, I just want to say that, okay? Some people get so fired up and it's like, dude, relax. It's just a list. It's just a list. Not making any crazy claims here. Um, notably absent, my favorite steroid in the world, Prima Bolin, which is right on the brink, but it's not going to be able to beat some of these, Proviron and Trestalone. Trestalone is just not widely used enough, and there's so much estrogen conversion, even though it is amazing for muscle hardening. Um, we're looking to for more drier and, and overall more commonly used type of thing. So uh, those three notably left off, but I do want to give them shout out and love. And I also want to point out the SARMs S23 and S4. Amazing for muscle hardening, but they're obviously not steroids, so they're not on this list because this is the steroid list. So let's jump in. Like I said, these are so closely, like you could argue, ah, this one, this one, this one, this one. So I'm just going to give it to you straight off the jump. Number five, Anavar. Anavar and Winstrol, I, I could change them back and forth here. And over the years now, especially recently, I've grown to actually like Anavar more than Winstrol. But for muscle hardening, Anavar is going to be great. All right, it's going to be great. You're going to see uh, one of my favorite things is the ability to target belly fat. I, I really like that. It does that. It's not a fat weight loss burner by any means, but it can definitely target problematic areas. And I like that. That's definitely going to help with hardening, increase of vascularity, and a lot more mild in terms of side effects. So Anavar number five. Number four, Winstrol. Winstrol is absolutely great for muscle hardening. It, it For me, it one of the things about Winstrol personally is and, and I get this with Anavar too, and I get it with the other ones I'm going to talk about. But Winstrol, for whatever the reason, I get more veiny on Winstrol than basically anything that I use. And it, it, it gives me like a roadmap almost, and I love that. The one thing about Winstrol that, that I don't like is by about week five, I just don't, I don't feel like doing shit anymore because it's just so toxic. And most orals are going to do that anyway. That's my one gripe with it. But if we're talking muscle hardening, you could even argue it up to maybe three. I I, I don't think so, but I I think that the next couple are going to be you're you're going to agree with me. But hey, everybody's different, and some people may not. But Winstrol number four, number three, Masteron. Uh, Masteron is known as a pure aesthetic. It's known as muscle hardening. And I bet a lot of you thought it was going to be number one or two, and you're probably thinking, what the hell? It's it, it could easily be number one on this list, easily, and I could argue it. Uh, Masteron, while it has other benefits, it I, I would say its main, 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 main benefit is muscle hardening and just it's a pure aesthetic. You're going to get strong. You're going to get aggressive. You're going to feel those things. You're not going to gain a bunch of size or anything like that, but you are getting ready for a show or you want the grainiest look possible, look no further than Masteron. And you, I'm sure that you notice DHT, 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 right? So, um, in terms of the compounds and they're, where they're derived. Number two. Now, before I give you number two, let me just say this about number two. Number two could also easily be number one, but number two is one that 
I don't really think anybody should really use at all um, unless maybe preparing for uh, competition or I have said in the past it may be the best for MMA fighters that don't want to gain weight and want to be as aggressive as they can. Um, Halotestin. And easily you could argue Halotestin is number one. Halotestin will get you dry as a mother. I mean a mother. Uh, it will get you hard as nails and it will increase strength dramatically. And the funny thing about it is you're probably not going to gain any size on it at all. But you will get so strong, and, and, and I mean just hard as a rock, but your temperament and the aggression and the toxicity, I don't find it to be worth it at all when you could just run a Winstrol uh, or Master on, and you're not going to get the same results, but damn near close. Um, but Halo testing definitely, I, I feel, is a clear-cut number two and definitely could have an argument at number one. But number one is going to be Trenbolone. A Trenbolone... <laughs> You could argue this to be the best on every list except possibly bulking. It is just the ultra all around, does everything. And, and when you have the ability to, to nutrient partition the way that you do with Trend and to get the hardening effects and those veins and the strength and just everything that goes along with it, it's like the ultra in one. I, I could see the argument of pushing Halo or Master on above it easily. And like I said, this is a, this is a subjective list and it's my list. But I think many people out there will definitely agree with me that Trenbolone belongs number one here. It's just too much that it does. And muscle hardening is definitely one of those things. I mean, one of the main draws to it is how you can lean out but still gain so much lean muscle and strength. And it, it will make you hard as a rock. That I can tell you. So that's the Dylan Jamelli list. Top five steroids for muscle hardening. Give me your thoughts and opinions. I'm always curious and what you agree, disagree, and your personal experiences. Like I said, it's a fun list. Let's have fun with it, guys and women. Um, and let's get some good conversation. Don't take it personal. Don't act like Master Ron's your dad and I just dissed your dad because I didn't. So... Um, and that could go for all of them. But that being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.